Spartan 117GW here today, and today we'll be talking about the MFG Venom by Incentive Designs. Now, what this is, is a muzzle flash generator, hence the MFG. Um, what it does really, really well is it kind of gives that same color temperature of a uh, muzzle flash, essentially. There's four really bright LEDs in here that um, when a VV passes through the unit itself, kind of acting like a tracer unit, um, it'll illuminate, kind of giving that very bright muzzle flash. And what's actually kind of cool is that the uh, muzzle device itself has these little cutouts, kind of like a cop or a muzzle breaker, something of that sort, uh, where the light can actually filter through, kind of more or less enhancing that look of a muzzle device with that bright, uh, fiery flash coming out of it. Now, if you're worried about this getting shot, there's actually this, um, I, I believe it's Lexon, it could, could be something else, but there's this clear material there that's uh, rated up to, I believe, about 500 FPS, so it can take a direct hit or several, and you really won't have to worry about it. Um, if they if they get anywhere else in there, the BB's just gonna go down the barrel, so unless that's ever happened to you, which has never happened to me, uh, you should be fine, you should be fine. Um, as you can see, it has this wire here. There's a couple different ways to power the unit. Um, basically, you can have the standard uh, nine volt battery. Um, you can pretty much pick up from any store out there. There's a little tape on mine because uh, there's a couple different ways to store this, but more or less you hook this up and when a BB travels through here, that is when it'll illuminate. Uh, looks really cool on full auto, even looks cooler with gas as you get that kind of gas uh, coming out and kind of illuminating it, giving that a little bit more authenticity, a little more of that realism. You can also rewire this to Dean's. Um, I've even talked to a few people, um, including the Bulligan. You can even probably hook, up, hook it up to one of those small LiPo batteries um, that people usually use for their Polar Stars, which makes it a lot easier to store in a lot of different places. Now with this um, standard option alone, um, you can do a couple different things. Uh, the rail vertical grip, you can uh, throw one of these in there. There's actually just enough hollow space in there. I would usually wrap it up with maybe one or two layers of tape and it'll kind of just sit nice tucked away in there on uh, just routing this through uh, the rail system itself. Uh, you can also put it in a pack box and if depending on what kind of gun you have, maybe there's enough room in the handguard to house this uh, sucker along with the battery that powers the gun. Uh, overall, the, the uh, power you know, use the uh, the power um, output of this. Uh, I think I went through maybe like one through one of these every one or two days. If you leave it plugged in though, it might drain a lot faster. So uh, power wise though, it was pretty good. Um, through a whole day, I usually get through one. In between games, I would kind of unplug it just so I didn't go out in the field and it just wasn't working. So I did make sure I was a little bit more conservative, uh, but really good that there's a couple different way to, ways to utilize this. Would have been nice to have it um, all in the unit itself uh, which would make it a lot bigger. Obviously, the size is already a little bit bigger for some people. Uh, it actually has kind of a similar shape, similar sizing dimensions to something like a Novesk or something like that. Uh, but that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, 14 millimeter counterclockwise, so it'll pretty much fit any of your standard airsoft guns. Um, and the price point, I believe it's about 129 pounds. It's, it's in that range, which translates to, depending on the uh, you know, transfer rate, currency rate, uh, anywhere between like a hundred and I believe 50 to a, a big gap up to like $200. So there isn't a bit of an investment here. And of course it kind of varies depending on the transfer rate. Uh, but for those guys who are really looking for the next level, who are really looking for, you know, that next niche, that next level of uh, authenticity or immersion, uh, beyond sound, you know, visually, this is probably the best thing out there on the market. On Central Designs, there's a lot of cool designs. They've even got a second generation version of this actual unit um, here itself. So they're going to be coming out with a few different ones of these, which is going to be great. Uh, make sure you guys check them out. They're a really awesome company and they're really interested in our feedback, which is really awesome. Uh, so, uh, you know, there might be more revised uh, versions in the future, which may or may not have the wire or might have just more um, aesthetically pleasing uh, battery options. But overall, definitely had a lot of fun with this. I was so excited when it arrived in the mail. Uh, and just getting to use it because it's just that it's that next level, um, especially for low light like GamePod or SS Airsoft. It is freaking amazing. So make sure you guys check them out. It's a really cool device. It's the Incentive Designs MFG Venom. Uh, they got a lot of cool things on their site and on their Facebook page, and I can't wait to see what else they come up with. So make sure you guys check them out. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW. I'll see you guys next time. Spartan 
channel. Make sure you guys subscribe too. Spartan 117 GW. Make sure you guys check it out. Thanks for watching. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.